Okay, guys. Um, I'm not fancy about the way I do things, and I know there's cauli brock soup that you can make, and you can do all sorts of things, and you can smash it up and blend it up and uh, have a fancy presentation. But I don't have any of all that. I'm just going to take plain old broccoli and cauliflower. I'm going to saute this. I'm going to start it out on about two on this electric flat top stove. And um, here are the um, stalks of the um, broccoli. I, I just take a knife and I just cut that outer tougher um, outer surface of the broccoli off and I just dice that up so when this gets hot then um, this here I'm going to start the stalks first because they take longer and then from there I am going to dump in the broccoli now these I'm sure I could have cut them up a little smaller than this uh, so this is going to just be an old-fashioned uh, collie brock soup and it's not going to be fancy so that'll go in second so then over here uh, I have I'm going to throw then the onions in and uh, the um, uh, cauliflower and the uh, kind of a coarse uh, grated um, organic carrot with the skin. You have to pay. You have to pay for that skin on that carrot too. Uh, so anyhow, this is some garden peppers. So I'm going to take and um, cut those up. They're frozen in uh, the slices. And I got to get rolling here. I forgot to cut up my uh, celery in little pieces because that's going to have to go in with the uh, broccoli stems. And then with the um, with the garlic, I take my good old um, wooden mallet, and I just go like this. And. With whenever I am not filming, I can do. I, I just try to do a little more gentle. Then once you take and you separate them like that, you just take the mallet again and hit those again, which is hard to do with one hand. Uh, you hit them again, and it breaks off the, the skin of them. And I just can't do this with one hand, show you with one hand. So I gotta get Okay, my collie box soup is coming along here. I have um, taken and I cut the outer part of the stems of the broccoli off and I diced the, the uh, stem up small, added it to four tablespoons of butter, and then I added, uh, I cooked that maybe for like a minute or so, and then I added the broccoli and I sauteed till kind of crisp tender. So that's what I'm doing now with the cauliflower. Uh, I've taken the stem, this off, uh, and the outer part, and then I made them into the flowerettes, cut them into flowerettes, and then I added a little bit of my frozen um, green pepper to it, and one grated organic carrot with the skin on it, and one onion is in here. Now, the first batch here, uh, I used the four tablespoons of butter with this. I didn't add more butter, I just added some uh, organic extra virgin coconut oil, about two tablespoons. I just dumped two little dollops in there. So now I'm sauteing this slightly onto, uh, I had the lid on it, and now I'm going to just add the water to it, put it all together. In the I now have added uh, one-fourth of a cup of brown rice flour. And as you can see, it's up to the top of my frying pan, so I have to transfer it to another pot. Okay, guys, here is the finished collie brock soup. And all I'm going to do now, I've put it everything together, and I am just going to heat this uh, through and uh, let it blend in for a while. Um, and not really that long, because with us, uh, we go more for crisp tender rather than soggy and lifeless food so uh, as soon as this heats up enough 
uh, and let it blend a little bit with the flavors that I have in there, uh, then um, it's going to be ready to eat. And I did add some um, green peppers from the garden, frozen green peppers. And see these, like I just cut them in strips like this. Some of them I dice them. It just depends on how, how I feel like doing them that day. I've even taken and just cut them in half and um, taken the um, the seeds out or most or some of the seeds out because I don't worry about taking all the seeds out. Um, as you can see in here, there is some seeds because seeds are good for you too. Um, so anyhow, I just want to mention, you can put the chicken broth in there, you can put the chicken bouillon um, and add that, or you can have vegetable broth and all that stuff, but I don't have any of that in there. Uh, all you have to do is look on the chicken bouillon and really you don't know what's in that chicken broth. Believe me, you don't know. I mean, you probably don't want to know. So this is the the stock that that's in here is just plain vegetable stock that has come out of the vegetables to uh, take and and give the flavor to the broth plus the organic butter that's in there and the um, extra virgin uh, coconut oil which really you don't notice any coconut oil is even in there because you're noticing the vegetable flavor. Okay, there it is. Um, now I have used. Um, the the butter. I did not use any milk in there uh, like I have in the past. I did not use my two cups of cheddar cheese like I have in the past. Uh, I did not use the uh, chicken bouillon granules. I did not use the chicken broth. And let me tell you guys, it's good regardless without all the man-made garbage and chemicals and GMOs. This is the real deal.